Hello, good morning! Como esta? Como va? Welcome back to our channel, The Father and I. Today, we will reflect on the book of Thomas A. Kempis, The Imitation of Christ. Chapter 9 Of Obedience and Subjection It is verily a great thing to live in obedience. To be under authority and not to be at our own disposal. For far safer is it to live in subjection in a place of authority. Many are in obedience from necessity rather than from love. This take it amiss and repine for small cause, nor will they gain freedom of spirit unless with all their heart they submit themselves for the love of God. Though you run hither and tighter, you will not find peace, save in humble subjection to the authority of Him who is set over thee. Fancies about places and change of them have deceived many. True it is that every man willingly follow his own bent and is the more inclined to those who agree with him. But if Christ is amongst us, then it is necessary that we sometimes yield up on our own opinion for the sake of peace. Who is so wise as to take perfect knowledge of all things? Therefore, trust not too much thy own opinion, but be ready also to hear the opinions of others. Though thine own opinion be good, yet if for the love of God you forgo it and follow that of another, you shall have more profit thereby. Oftentimes I have heard that it is safer to hearken and to receive counsel than to give it. It may also come to pass that each opinion may be good, but to refuse to hearken to others when reason or occasion requires it is a mark of pride or willfulness. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you for watching. Bye. Have a good day.